See, I was looking for you yesterday, but, you know, you were really busy with practice and all. We're here with Ray Black Jr. How's it going, man? I'm good. How are y'all? I'm good, man. I'm in, I'm really enjoying my weekend out here. First time at Fontana. Now, uh, you just said uh, before we uh, got, uh, got rolling here, uh, not necessarily your best place. Why is that? Yeah, it's just one of those places that, you know, either you love it or you hate it. And uh, right now I haven't found the love in it, so... It's a it's a cool track, a lot of history here, and, the, and I like the bumpy tracks. But uh, seems like our cars just don't really want to get around them really too well. And uh, I know if we had more practice, I think we could have figured some things out. But so now we're just trying to trying to jump in the deep deep in and see what happens. And um, you know, we usually run decent here in a race, and the, and then practice always kind of goes rough. So hopefully that happens tomorrow, and we're, we're okay or today. All right, finally I've caught up with BJ McLeod. I've been looking for you uh, since yesterday. How's it going, man? Good. Just uh, excited to be out here at California for uh, qualifying. Yes, uh, absolutely, absolutely. So my understanding is you basically drive for everybody in the garage area while owning owning your own team. What is that like? Uh, it's fun, man. I, I enjoy the excitement. The challenge it imposes on itself is pretty big, but we uh, – you know, we're definitely doing the best we can to keep getting better. We, uh, you know, we've got a long way to go as far as, you know, finishing positions. I'd like to be in the top 15 every week, and we're averaging probably 20th to 25th on both driver and owner side. But just, uh, you know, thankful to have gotten as far as we have and looking forward to working and trying to get better in the future. Right now, currently on the pole at Auto Club, the, the, the one and only Michael McDowell. How's it going, man? It's going good. Hopefully it stays up there. Right now we're looking yeah. good, but there's still a lot of cars to go. Yeah, you guys definitely surprised me this weekend. Uh, good practice, good uh, good speed and qualifying. How's the how's the car this weekend? Yeah, it's it's been a pretty smooth weekend. Like you said, love to travel stop Ford Mustang. Unloaded good. We've been good. Smooth practices. Um, which we need it. Uh, Las Vegas was a little bit rough for us, so this this is a good uh, good start to the uh, the weekend for us, and it's been a good weekend. Talk about your season so far. I know we're only basically just two races in, but I mean, you guys are looking like a solid playoff contender. I mean, it's it's off to a very good start. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, so far we've um, we've had some great finishes. You know, last weekend we finished seventeenth. Uh, we lost a few spots on pit road on a green flag pit stop, so. But other than that, I mean, as long as we can keep our car together and not get in the wrecks and, um, you know, keep the motors in one piece, I think we'll have a good shot. I mean, Brandon Brown's really fast, and I think we're going to be fighting him for the, the spot. And then Jeremy Clements has had some, you know, unfortunate luck. So I think we'll be okay, though. I mean, but, yeah, like I said, we just got to keep it one piece and um, keep knocking these top 20s out and see where the cards fall. We'll get, I guess, 20 races or something like that to figure it out. Yeah, I talked to Brendan Brown yesterday, and uh, he's he's all but guaranteed. I mean, he's he's basically guaranteed a playoff spot. And uh, he mentioned you. He mentioned Clements as you know uh, the biggest competition for the final playoff spots. I mean, talk about what it's like to race against those guys. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Jeremy's a, a great race car driver. He's fun to, to you know bang doors with, and uh, we've gotten into it a few times. But we're really pretty good buddies now. And then me and Brandon. Um, he's a he's an aggressive driver and it's fun to race around him. Um, but this year they, they they got a little bit better package than last year. They and they bought some ECR motors, so that they're they're rolling pretty fast. And they showed a lot of speed last weekend, and that's something we really couldn't keep up with. And um, but we got a long season ahead, and uh, you know the mile and a halfs they're going to be really good at. It, but I think the short tracks and road courses will will prevail in. I think, and um, so we're just going to have to outrun them there and hope they have some. You know, mediocre luck, and we have really good luck, and uh, see what happens. But as long as I, I think two of us can make the chase, I think realistically. So if that can happen, you know, I want to be one of them. I wanted to ask if this was true. I heard this, and I don't know if this is true or not. It could be a myth, for all I know. Um, is it true? Last year at Atlanta, you finished uh, 16th with one set of tires. Is that true? No. The the closest story to that would be uh, the Coca Cola 600 at Charlotte. We ran the whole 600 miles on four sets of race, uh, four sets of tires, and we finished, I believe, 28th to 25th, something like that. So it was it was pretty big. We had a really good car though. Like that that car with the right funding behind it could have could have been a top 25 car easy. Like it was it was a good hot rod. That's pretty badass. I guess the final question I have is, uh, what are the expectations for this year? I mean, for your team and also yourself personally. Well, as far as the team goes, we've set a goal of getting uh, five top 15s with at least one of our cars at non-super speedway or road course events. I think speedway and road course, we run pretty good anyway, but I uh, I want some downforce top 15s and, and uh, that's what we're looking forward to. And then as a driver, take care of Johnny, make sure uh, he gets what he needs and get the best finish as we can. Talk about your career as a whole. I mean, like you've been uh, pretty up and down when it comes to, you know, running for the big boys and then also, you know, the, uh, the, um, the underfunded guys. So yeah. uh, just talk about that. 
Yeah, I mean the the disparity between you know the the big top four guys teams you know Penske, uh, you, you go Joe Gibbs Racing Hendrick, you know you got four or five hundred people against forty, you know, and so um, yeah, I've been on both sides of it. I've seen both sides of it, and um, yeah, it's it's crazy the, just the amount of resources it takes to run a race car, but. Um, NASCAR has given us a great, great platform. As you can see, we can be, you know, very competitive with a smaller team. I mean, we have good cars and good people, and we're not little by any means at Front Row, but um, we definitely don't have four or 500 people building cars back back home. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, I enjoy the smaller team. I enjoy being a part of it, um, being a part of something, growing and building. I mean, you always want to win races and win championships, but as you know, there's only a few guys that get a chance to do that. So I've been very fortunate to help grow with teams and help build teams, and, and that's kind of been something that's fun to see over the years. Uh, so last question. Uh, talk about your guys' program. I mean, as you can see right now, uh, P1 right now on the uh, 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 during qualifying. So, I mean, oh, no, you're good. yeah, more cars, more cars coming. Be aware, be aware of your surroundings yeah, okay. at all times, man, yeah. at all times. So um, just talk about how – uh, your guys' program has improved over the past couple of years? Yeah, you know, it's really all about people. And, uh, you know, over the years, you just bring on one or two key people that help, you know, elevate the program. And then the following year, one or two key more people. So uh, Front Row has really grown. And, and, and our technical alliance with uh, Roush Fenway and, you know, our partnership with Ford Performance and Roush Yates Engines, you know, now we have – a couple of the key ingredients to, to have a successful program and, and now it's putting all those ingredients together and, and like I said it's hard to do with a small group but we're doing a good job and we're making progress every year and you know I still wake up you know on Thursday morning before I head to the racetrack and go this is it this is the weekend this is the weekend where it all goes right and we win a race and um, everybody on this team is chasing that same feeling of that you know this could be the weekend that it all all comes together and uh, that's what keeps you motivated, and that's what keeps you driven. And and um, yeah, it's uh, y this is a tough sport, and you gotta you gotta really fight through the battles. One last uh, final thing uh, I want to request from you: Can you say hello to IDK Player again? What's up, y'all? What's up, IDK Player? How are y'all doing today? Uh, uh, thanks for having us out here, and uh, looking forward to see y'all soon. I picked the right time to find you, man. Josh Williams. Oh my gosh, the man, the myth, the legend. One of the premier underdogs in the sport. You got a top ten. That wasn't Talladega. How you feeling? I know, right, man. That's cool. I mean, this is where we should be. I mean, I, I, everybody at DGM works our tail off, and this is where we need to be. Top tens, top fifteens every week, and we did it. Here we are, and uh, we're just gonna keep racking them up. Man, it was amazing. I mean, like, talk about the work you've put in during the off season into your guys' Xfinity Series program. It's well worth it now. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Mario uh, down in Florida, it's a little bit of a struggle being so far away from you know Charlotte where everything's happening. But I tell you what, that man works his tail off, and and all the guys at DGM really worked hard in the off season, and and I mean our results showed. You know, we've only run three races, and and we've been fast all of them. So, looking forward to the rest of the year for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, as far as expectations are concerned, can we start talking playoffs now or no? A little too soon? A little too soon right now? Why not? Let's talk about it. Why not, man? Let's talk about it. Congratulations. Congratulations, man. Thanks,